Hi friends, welcome to your soft yoga flow for ease and intuition. In our busy days, we often rush from one thing to another, and this reflects onto our mind too, and we feel all over the place. So this yoga flow is for you to slow down a little, move very consciously and mindfully, and calm down so you can hear your inner voice, your intuition more clearly once again. We include a lot of really good feeling stretches, but also some fluid movement. So it's a very complete practice that should leave you feeling very relaxed and nourished. You don't need any specific props for this class so we can get right into it. We begin this practice laying down on the back. So find a way to comfortably come to lay down, maybe with the help of your arms. And as you arrive, you want to bring the soles of the feet together and drop the knees out to the sides for this reclined bound angle pose, Supta Baddha Konasana. Hands may be resting on the upper body, the abdomen, the heart, or maybe the arms are next to the body, whatever allows you to soften the shoulders. And then just take a moment to settle in. Maybe closing the eyes or softening the gaze. Relaxing the jaw. Feel the natural breath as it flows in and out of your nose without controlling or changing it. Feel the gentle rise and fall of the abdomen, the chest. Just observe this calm, natural rhythm of your breath for a couple of moments. And then very softly begin to deepen the breath a little so you can feel the abdomen and the chest expand as you inhale. And relax as you exhale. Taking fuller breaths, inhaling, creating space. Exhaling, releasing any tensions. Three more deep inhales. Long exhales. Yeah, and then release the hands, bring the hands onto the outer thighs to help yourself move the legs together. And then stand up your feet on the ground. Hands can come back onto the upper body or maybe next to the body for a bit more support. We begin to drop the knees from side to side very slowly and mindfully. Feeling how this affects the hip joints, the low back. And today we never want to rush through our movements, so really try and find pleasure in the slowness. Enjoy the mindful movements. Okay. And then we'll continue this kind of movement, but we start to lift the feet off the ground and guide the knees from side to side, just hovering above the ground. So we'll just gently activate the core a little. It's a very nice support for our low back also. So just take your time, try and keep the shoulders on the ground, move the legs mindfully without too much momentum, but really with control, a couple of more times. Keeping face, neck and shoulders relaxed. And then slowly finding your way to the center, 
bringing the knees all the way up to the chest, hugging around the shins, and then rocking a bit from side to side on the lower back, massaging it. And then lift your head, bring your nose in between the knees, make yourself small, breathe into the belly, two big breaths here. Good, and then release the upper back back down. Bring the hands behind the knees and then start rolling forward and backwards along the spine, massaging it. Now, if this is not comfortable for you, for some people it simply isn't. You can just roll onto one side and find your way into an upright seat. If it feels good, you can rock forwards and backwards a couple of more times. And then maybe if you're still rolling, you take a bit more momentum so you can come to sit up with the legs crossed. This is where we'll meet. Hands on the knees, we lean forward and over the side backwards, drawing big circles. And you may want to close the eyes back down so you once again move very slowly, mindfully, and kind of intuitively. There's really no right or wrong. Maybe the circles are very large and generous or maybe they're rather subtle and small. If you go a bit faster or a bit slower, just think of releasing any stuck energy and moving it along the spine as you move. And then slowly change direction, circle the other way around. Feel how the abdomen relaxes. The spine, maybe the shoulders soften a little, maybe even the neck. And then allow those circles to become smaller. And find your way back into an upright seat. Shift the hands a bit further forward onto the shin so you can now pull yourself forward to open the heart and the throat for a little bit of a cow stretch here in the back. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, you want to round the back, hang onto the arms, draw the navel in, bring the chin in. We roll kind of towards the table. Inhale, sit back up, gently curve the back, open front body. Exhale, round back and press the shoulder blades apart. Navel goes in towards the spine. We continue like this, inhaling, stretching the chest and the throat open. Exhaling, rounding the back. Now, you could use a gentle ujjayi breath for your practice now. So that means we narrow the back of the throat a little. So there's this oceanic sound at the back of the throat. Making it more conscious, creating just a little bit of warmth in the body. Good. And then continue to breathe this way, or just breathe naturally as you sit up. Extend the arms forward. See if you can find a bit of momentum to roll over the feet and place the hand on the mat. Uncrossing the legs, coming into a tabletop position. Maybe you want to tuck the toes to stretch the feet a little. Once again, pressing yourself into a rounded cat back. And then one more time into a cow stretch. So gently lifting table and lifting heart. And then you can either choose to continue in this movement or maybe you want to close the eyes and move very freely, intuitively, softening through the sides, the hips, the shoulders. And you can really take a moment to listen to your body. Which areas do you want to be moved? Maybe something needs a little more attention today and everything goes you can send the hips back or forward just take a moment to do whatever feels right to you find ease in your movements no need to perform or do anything specific and then slowly come back to your tabletop position we keep the legs as they are only walk the hands forward for anahatasana posture of the heart taking a stretch of the shoulders the chest maybe chin or forehead come to the mat or maybe they hover allowing yourself to sink into gravity 
Taking smooth breaths through the nose, in and out. Feeling yourself melting down to the earth. Two more. Good. And then from here, pull the hips back until the forearms touch the ground. You can look forward and then slide onto the belly and come into a small cobra pose. Point the toes, lift the heart a bit higher. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring the forehead down. Really find the tops of your feet. Inhale, cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower down. Twice more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, let go. One more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come down. Tuck the toes. Inhale, press them to the knees. Exhale, send the hips back. And then up into your first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. You may want to pedal the legs, bend the knees generously, stretching through the soles of the feet, the calves, back of the thighs hamstrings. Maybe bringing knees a bit from side to side. Soften the neck. Maybe open the mouth and release your jaw, moving it from side to side. Good. Slowly find some stillness. Take another two conscious breaths, long arms, long back. Neck is relaxed. Good. And then step the feet together. On your inhale, reach the right leg up into the air for a three-legged dog. And on the exhale, we'll take a big step in between the hands. Left knee grounds down for a low lunge, Anjaniyasana. Sweep the arms up as you inhale. And then stay soft in the shoulders as you exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Stay here, breathe into the heart, inhale. As you exhale, bring the arms over side, interlace all ten fingers, draw the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. If this feels a lot in the low back, just pull the hips back, draw the belly in. Go. We take another full breath. And then release the hands. The right hand stays, left arm reaches up for an exalted shape. Take another full breath, really enjoying this opening of the body. And then slowly guide the left hand down. Right arm reaches up. We're in an easy twisted pose. You can either stay here or release the back knee off the mat. It's your choice. Find space in the chest. Take another conscious breath. Good. And then bring the right hand down. Engage the core a lot so you can step back into a plank pose now. And then bring knees, chest, and chin to the ground for Ashtanga Namaskar. The hips stay lifted. Inhale, slide forward into your small cobra. Point the toes. And exhale over the knees. Push back into your downward facing dog. Good. Take a breath in through the nose. Maybe slide out through the mouth. Step the feet together. Left leg lifts up on the inhale. Big step forward on the exhale. Right knee comes down. On the inhale, we rise up into low lunge. On the exhale, we soften the shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale, arms to the side, cactus, open the heart. Once again, inhale here. Exhale, release the arms over side, interlace all ten fingers, maybe one finger further as you did on the first side, open the heart. And engage the core a little, position your hips so your lower back feels secure and stable, and then open the heart. Good. And then release the clasp, right arm reaches up. Take another conscious breath. 
And then reach the right arm forward and down. And the left arm goes up for that twisted posture. Either you stay here or maybe you lift the right knee off the mat. Good. Look down to the ground, place the left hand on the outside of the left foot, and then step the left foot back. We take an inhale. And on the exhale, bring knees, chest and chin down to the ground. Inhale, slide forward into a small cobra. And exhale, push into your downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out. And look forward and really, really slowly, with a lot of time, start walking the feet to the top of the mat. And as you arrive, soften through the knees, grab opposite elbows, allow the upper body to fold forward. Head is heavy. Taking two nourishing breaths here, really giving into gravity, letting go of all the tension in the neck. Good. And then release the arms, come onto the fingertips as you inhale, reach the heart forward for half forward fold. Option to bring the hands into the shins. And exhale once again, fold all the way down. One more time, inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, let it go. We come to standing, reach the arms over side, big movement. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart and release. We go through kind of a half sun salutation to create a bit of flow of energy. We reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, soft knees fold all the way down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down. Come to standing. Inhale, reach the arms up for upward salute. Look up to your hands. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart and release for Tadasana. We do this one more time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bow with the exhale. Inhale, reach the heart forward. Exhale, let go. Standing, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart and release. Good. We continue. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Now exhale, step into your plank pose. I take an inhale. And exhale, lower knees, chest and chin only, maybe lower all the way or half for your chaturanga variation. Inhale, choose your cobra as before or an up dog if you know and enjoy this pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Step the feet together. Inhale, right leg up. Big step forward as you exhale. And this time for high lunge, stand up. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, straight in the front leg. Exhale, re-bend. Moving very slowly today. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good. Inhale, last time, straighten. Exhale, bend. We stay here. Inhale. And exhale, open arms and hips for warrior two. Back heel goes down. Finding a bit of soft flow. Inhale, reach the right arm up for your peaceful warrior. Exhale, come all the way forward into a side angle. Right forearm onto the right leg, left arm reaches forward. Inhale into your peaceful warrior. Exhale into that side angle pose. Inhale, last time, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Stay, take an inhale. And an exhale. And then look down, left hand comes to the ground, back heel releases so we can reach the right arm up and we're back in our easy twist. Taking one breath in, one breath out, inhaling here, exhale hand down to the mat. 
Inhale, step into your plank pose. And you can choose to flow with me or go straight into your down dog. This is where we'll meet. Make the most out of your practice. What do you need? More rest, more movement. Listen to your body and your intuition. Take a breath in in your dog. Maybe sigh it out. And then lift the left leg up into the air. Big step forward. High lunge as you inhale. It's the last standing sequence. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Keep control of the knee. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, Virabhadrasana. Two arms and hips open. Fluidly inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. A bit like a dance. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lean forward. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. We stay. Take an inhale. And an exhale. And then look down. Right hand reaches down to the mat. Left heel, or the back heel releases rather, and the left arm reaches up. Take an inhale. And an exhale. And look down to the mat. Plant the hand. Inhale into your plank pose, and only if you wish, this would be your last floor, your last vinyasa for this practice. I'll go straight into your down dog. This is where we'll meet. Taking an inhale and a sigh out. And walk the feet towards the center of the mat. Open the feet wide, bring the hands in. And then turn the toes out, slowly lower down for your yogic squat malasana pose. Take your hands together in front of the heart. Pull the shoulders back and down. And either close the eyes or soften the gaze and just observe all the sensations in the body. Maybe there's just a little warmth, a little bit of flow of energy. Just stay present with what is happening right here, right now. Yeah, we take one more inhale through the nose. Maybe side out through the mouth. Release the hands up behind you for support to sit down. Bringing the soles of the feet together once again. Grabbing onto the ankles or maybe around the toes. Lifting the heart up. And this time we come forward with the chest, keeping the heart nice and open. No need to go super far. Just feel that sensation in the hip joints. Finding your focus point with the eyes, your drishti, or closing them. Coming back into the breath. Slowly release, sit up. Use your hands for help once again to bring the knees together. Feet are stood up on the mat. Hands come behind you. Lean onto the hands, lift the hips. You want your knees over the ankles, so maybe you need to shuffle a little. Lift the hips higher. Reverse tabletop. You can either look to the knees, maybe look up to the ceiling if your neck feels fine today. You can softly bring the head back, open the throat. Breathe into the front body. Yeah, we take 
a big lion's breath together. So we inhale through the nose and as we exhale through the mouth, we stick the tongue out. Inhale and out. Twice more. Inhale. Last time. Good job. Simply lower the hips down towards the hands. Your head will follow very naturally and you'll look forward. Make sure you have space behind you to lay down. Either use the hands for help or extend the arms forward to slowly lower down onto the back. Good. And then bring the right knee up to the chest. Extend the left leg. Press the low back into the ground. Now release the right arm, bring the knee over the body to the left side for a gentle twist. And always observe that little moment of rebound when you did a sun salutation or a standing pose or even a lion's breath. There is this moment of rising energy and then you can observe how it calms down again. You find that inner spaciousness, calmness. Slowly come back to center, pull the knee up one more time. Bring the left knee up as well so you can switch the legs up here. Grabbing a hold of the left leg, extend the right leg. Stay for a moment, pressing the low back into the mat. And then release the left arm, pull the right knee, oh, the left knee over to the right for your gentle twist. Any degree is fine, no need to pressure or force anything. Slowly come back to the center, bring the left knee up, bring the right knee up one more time, hug around both shins, rock on the lower back from side to side. One last time, lift the head, nose in between the knees, two big breaths here. And then from here, extend out on the mat for your final relaxation. Give a lot of space to your arms and your legs, palms facing up. Shoulders softening down, head is heavy, pelvis is heavy, legs are heavy. And you allow the whole body to let go. Release any tensions. You allow the breath to flow freely. And for a moment, there is nothing you have to analyze or think about. You can fully let go, relax, and enjoy your Shavasana.
slowly bring your attention back to the breath. Begin to deepen the breath, to awaken the body, and to draw yourself back into this moment. Bring small movements back and to the fingers, the toes, maybe circle the wrists, the ankles. And then bend your knees, roll onto one side. You can keep the eyes closed just a little longer, observing how you feel after this asana practice. Expressing some gratitude that it, you have taken the time today to practice, and to do something for your well-being. And then slowly press the hands into the ground as you sit up, finding an upright seat, joining the palms in front of the heart in a gesture of appreciation. And once you feel ready, you can open the eyes. Thank you so much for your company, for your practice. I hope you enjoyed it and you feel a little more relaxed and nourished. I have a lot of beautiful resources for you in the description box down below. We have beautiful yoga retreats coming up, a yoga teacher training that you can join from anywhere. There's also music playlists and all kinds of beautiful things. Check it out. Please leave me a like and let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. I'll see you next week. Every Friday we have a new video online. Have a great time.